Hey, I'm finally getting to the second half of this square bowl, the other half. Uh, we'll start with turning the tenon. Perfect. All right, got a flat bottom so it'll sit perfectly. I had to bring down that tenon a little bit, get it back down to a quarter of an inch. Anything more than that, it would have been too uh, too long. Uh, so I just brought that down. Anyway, the tenon's set. I'll get it turned around and put in the chuck and start on the other side of the bowl. All right, got it turned around. Got to go for a little bit different shape than I did the last time. Mask on, a uh, half inch. Swept back low gouge, turning about uh, 550 RPMs. I got to go a certain amount of depth to get rid of the markings in the middle from when I was turning it uh, between centers. So I got a little bit more to go. So it's going to go walnut to cherry and then slope up and then slope down into the bowl. So a little bit more coming along nicely. Not too bad. Got the outer slope I want. I'll dig out the middle and it'll come about to here. Try to even out the slope. But the outside was the trickiest. A little bit of tear out, but I can sand that.
I think these tools are getting dull. I'm gonna sharpen up, come back later. better with sharper tools. I'm going to blend this so it's more of a curve. Once I get the depth, I'll transition this better. More to turn. I'm about at the depth I want. 
maybe round this a little bit more and I'll be done. This is the shape I was looking for. It goes walnut, cherry to walnut. Just a nice smooth curve and transition from one to the other. And I'm gonna finish this off and I'll bring it back when it's ready for sanding. I don't wanna jinx anything, but this second half of this project is turning out much, much better. I still have to sand and turn the tenon out and obviously put a finish on it, but you could see the difference here. It started with that bandsaw cut, but this one I leveled out and corrected that mistake. So when I turned the tenant and flipped it around in the in the jaws, it didn't it didn't uh, offset the the cherry or the transition between the walnut and the cherry. This transitions very well. It left more cherry involved, and you can see it's nice, nice and smooth transition between the walnut and the cherry. And it's just overall way better the second time around. You know, that comes with experience. Live and learn. Um, first bowl looked great, but this one, I'm much more happy with how this is turning out. Anyway, we'll come, we'll start sanding here. 80, probably up to 800, make it real shiny. Turn the tendon, off, take the tendon off, and then uh, put a finish on it. But we'll bring it back and probably be watching uh, spring training baseball tomorrow morning up there. Um, thank God baseball's back, but we'll come back tomorrow and finish this off. Look at this mask of face shield, huh? So I can tell us. Whew. All right. Didn't show you everything, but brought you back for the last um, sanded 80 to 800. Uh, that seems to work for me when I want to get something really shiny. 80, 120, 180, 240, 320, 400, 600, and 800. Um, I've just had a lot of success because, um, you know, obviously it can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but how you sand will make how it finishes later on. So you can see it just came out beautiful. Uh, as long as I don't screw up the tenon removal, uh, this bowl is going to be damn near perfect. Anyhow, I'll bring you back for that. Sanding's complete. Time to take the tenon off. Is the lid off. All right, little nubs off. I'm going to take this to the drill press, sand the bottom nice and flat. I'll get it signed and I'll bring it back for the finish. Um, I think I did uh, Mahoney's walnut oil on the first one, so I'll use tried and true on this one just so I can compare the two.
I got my mask and face shield on so you probably can't hear me. But I love how the drill press, or the drill press, <laughs> I love how the drill press can finish off the bottom like this. Absolutely perfect. Exactly how I wanted. Welcome back. So the last square bowl, I used Mahoney's Walnut Oil. Uh, this one I'll use tried and true, original wood finish. Um, already burnished it with uh, steel wool, so now we'll apply the finish. Both Mahoney's and uh, Try to True are super simple to, to finish with. You apply it, leave it for an hour, wipe off any excess. And with Tried and True, probably do three coats. With the day in between each one. some more. It's gorgeous. Oops, hopefully I got that most of that in camera. <laughs> Let me get some more. Ooh, I probably went way too heavy on that. I'll spread it around, clean off little lint pieces that are coming off my, my cloth. Oh yeah, I went way too heavy. Oops. Yeah, I'll finish spreading this around, thin it out some, and bring it back after three coats for the finished bowl. Hey everyone, I'm back with the finished product. Um, the square bowls had two or three coats of tried and true, uh, but I'm going to finish this up right here. Um, once again, I hope I don't uh, mess up the pronunciation of this of his name, but this video and this project was inspired by Ronald Kanye's uh, square bowl video. Love Ronald's channel as well as so many others that I watch and learn from just about every night on YouTube. I won't try to list them all because I'll obviously forget names, uh, but you know, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, I really enjoyed Ronald's content and was inspired to uh, do a variation of, uh, of his project. Um, so this is part three in the three part series. Uh, part one or is where I turned the six by six cube into a cylinder in both directions. It had uh, two, it was a two inch piece of cherry surrounded by 
uh, two inch pieces of walnut. Uh, part two was my first attempt at the square bowl. Came out good, but uh, I learned about why they use a waste block. Obviously, my cut on the bandsaw had things misaligned a little bit. So with, with this second bowl or part three of this video, I corrected my uh, crooked bandsaw cut by sanding the top of it and was able to really fix my mistakes with that first bowl, even though it's cool, but uh, this one just came out so much better. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with both bowls, but this second bowl, bowl was just turned so much better uh, because I had fixed that initial problem so it didn't didn't get things out of alignment. So that's the variation. It wasn't a waste block. I uh, glued together some walnut and cherry and there's the finished bowl. Um, once again, uh, check out Ronald's channel. He does some awesome stuff as so many of the wood turners do and I'm just learning. So learning and experimenting. Anyhow, uh, I did want to talk a little bit about uh, the finishes. Um, this was the my first bowl was uh, done with Mahoney's walnut oil. Um, put it on liberally, cured for three days, and then put on the oil and wax uh, finish after that for one day. So it, it was a four day process, but super, super easy. Um, this bowl, I tried and true. Like I said, I'm two of three coats into it, but um, you, you know, it's real simple. Wipe it on, wipe off any excess an hour later leave it for a day and do another coat. So, you know, they're pretty comparable. They're both 100% uh, food safe. They're both super easy to use. Um, they both have pretty much the same kind of timing involved in doing it right. Um, both bowls are obviously sanded the same, but they both just end up looking great, feeling great, even smelling great. But it feels like, you know, it just feels like real wood. Um, you feel the grain in there. And it's just it's just beautiful so I really really love both finishes and it's hard to hard to nitpick and see which one I'd, I'd like better um, to be honest uh, I've only found two differences so far um, and it comes down to using a, a Indian ink India ink pen to uh, to sign the bottoms of the bowls and then the species of the wood um, that's all I could find because they both came out great. The walnut, um, I can't really find a difference between the two. Um, hopefully this comes out on camera. Um, you can see, you know, the sag is really dark, but I really can't see a difference in the two when it comes to walnut. The cherry, however, um, I just, I, I guess if gun to the head, I have, I prefer uh, Mahoney's walnut oil with the cherry. It comes out a little bit richer, a little bit darker. And again, this was from the same piece of wood. It was a two by six by six uh, little uh, rectangle cut in half on the bandsaw. So this was the exact same piece of wood. And this walnut came, you know, even though it was two separate pieces, it came from the same piece of wood. And then it was cut into those, in those six by six by two sections. And this cherry was just split down the middle. So this is the exact same piece of wood. And I just like the way the cherry kind of works with Mahoney's better. Um, I brought this other bowl. I did a couple shorts on it. I didn't do a video. And I sure hope it shows on camera. Um, but this, is, this was done last month. Um, and I used Mahoney's walnut oil on this. Uh, there's some... I don't know if the light will pick it up. There's some chatoyance in here, and it's just, it's just beautiful. And you just see how it comes out just a fraction darker and a little bit more rich with cherry. And again, this wasn't the exact same piece of wood this cherry came from, but it was from the same, the same lot, if that makes sense. Um, so I give the edge to, which when it comes to cherry to Mahoney's, but when it comes to walnut, they are both just exceptional. They both look fantastic. Um, I really can't tell any difference between the two. And I, I use both pretty much exclusively on everything I do have, or have done so far and have no complaints about either tried and true original wood finish or Mahoney's finish. Um, they're both 
like I said, they're both exceptional finishes and look really good. As far as the signing, though, um, and I'm not a scientist, so I, I don't know what happens. Um, but I think because you're putting the oil on with this and letting it cure for three days and obviously wipe off excess, and then this oil wax combination goes on afterwards for the fourth day, it doesn't mess with the signature at all when you use an Indian ink pen. Obviously, it won't matter if you're burning it in. Um, however, with the tried and true, it does come off um, if you if you wipe when you're wiping off the excess. Um, here's proof. If it shows up in the little black smudges, you wipe wipe a little too much, and that starts fading and fading. Um, and I think it's because this is automatically going to the oil and wax mix versus oil, and then the oil and wax mix. So. It's a marginal little difference when it comes to signing in that in that manner. Um, but other than that, both excellent finishes. Anyhow, that's a lot me talking way more than I should have. Um, this is the finished product for the third bowl or or the second second half of this third video, second bowl, and and I'm just really happy with it. I corrected my little miscalculation mistakes on the first one. And it, I couldn't I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Anyhow, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe, give a like if you can, and check out Ronald's channel.